My name's Ashley Stollmeyers, and I am the curator of this year's uh, Around Oregon Biennial at the Corvallis Art Center. It's a real honor and a privilege to be asked to look at this work, and I'm just so grateful for all the artists that shared their practices with the Art Center and myself, and this year's exhibition is really exciting to me. When I think about art around Oregon and when I think about what it means to be a maker, a creative, a generative person that's living and working in the state. The artists that were selected were artists that really spoke to that for me in various ways and whose work really tickled me and brought me joy, made me laugh, made me feel inspired presented sort of an aha moment for me as an arts worker and a creative person who also lives in the state. We are currently undergoing a lot of evolution in the state where it's getting harder and harder to maintain a creative practice amidst some of like the economic turmoil that's happening with just real estate and getting paid for our work and the various things that make it hard for people all over the U.S. to maintain practices as an artist. Portland in particular, or Oregon in particular, used to be a space that was really celebrated for its ability for artists to, for its capacity for artists to live here and make work. There is a lot of opportunity for sort of DIY, underground, collaborative, communal work to happen It was a place that you could rent a space for a studio or for a gallery and where some weird things could happen that weren't necessarily concerned with selling of artworks or some of the things that now artists need to be more and more concerned with as it just gets harder and harder to make ends meet. So with this exhibition, I really wanted to celebrate artists that in the face of some of those challenges in the face of some of the adversity of being an artist, have really held tight to tenets of collective practice, what it means to make together with other people, what it means to show up for other people in their work, large and small, what it means to maintain a sense of humor in the face of of progress, both positive and negative, what it means to think about history and legacy and sense of place, but in a way that's super nuanced and allows that history belongs to the storyteller and history is a rhizomatic thing that the same events could have looked dramatically differently for different people. So I'm really excited to have been a part of this. The artists in the show, again, made me laugh. Um, made me think about landscape in a way that felt poignant and that I don't always think of it. Made me think about family and collectivity and what a healthy arts ecosystem looks like in its best moment. So I'm really, really honored to have seen all this work and to have been a part of the exhibition this year. And I once again thank all the artists so much for their generosity in in letting me into their practices and showing me what they make and what they're thinking about and the ways that the arts ecosystem of Oregon is still thriving in a really beautiful and important way. Thanks.